Um, so my name is Alicia. I am the Centre Manager of the Jeffrey Jefferson Brain Research Centre, or as we like to call it, the Jeff. Um, I feel like that's a bit more friendly. Um, so we're a joint venture across the University of Manchester, Manchester Academic Health Science Centre and the Northern Care Alliance. And we also work in partnership with Manchester Cancer Research Centre, the Christie and the Royal Manchester Children's Hospital. Um, if we can just go to the next slide. So the centre was named in honour of Professor Sir Geoffrey Jefferson, who you can see in that first picture there. And he was the UK's first professor of neurosurgery at the University of Manchester. And he was also the first chair of the Medical Research Council Clinical Research Board. Um, professor Sir Geoffrey Jefferson worked at both Salford Royal and Manchester Royal Infirmary in the 1920s and 30s. So we felt like that was a sufficient, you know, a very good name for our centre. And we want to kind of live up to those expectations. And um, below that picture, you can see our two co-directors, very smiley in these pictures. So Professor Andy King and Professor Stuart Allen, who I'm sure many of you know. And then there is also a slightly elongated photo of myself there as well. If we just go on to the next slide. Um, so a little bit about the centre. So our vision is to very much be a patient-focused and patient-driven centre for translational brain research. We aim to combine the outstanding discovery science and experimental medicine to translate our research into healthcare benefit. Um, and our aim is to discover and develop new treatments and implement optimal care pathways that provide better outcomes and transform the lives of patients. What we're looking to do is to rapidly translate from kind of bench to bedside. Um, we want to allow that patient impact and improve patient care at the end of the research pathway. Um, and we aim to do that relatively quickly and cover that whole translational pathway. Um, next slide. So we've got four main centre strategic objectives um, and those are to create an, an identity for neuroscience research in Manchester. We want to become a bit of a home of neuroscience research um, within Manchester and to be you know nationally and internationally leading in the research that we do. Um, we aim to be patient driven and patient led um, ensuring the needs of the patients are at the heart of what we do. So we really want our research agenda to be driven by patient need and um, what is important to them and how can we look at rapidly translating that research. Um, we, we do an awful lot of research in Manchester and I think it's really important to really consider what, what is going to be of the most benefit to patients because sometimes they identify areas that maybe we aren't providing enough research in or that we haven't looked into and um, so their voice is really really important to us. Um, we want to provide a forum for clinical and academic researchers to establish specific themes that facilitate rapid translation of research from bench to bedside. So we'll come on to the themes that we have currently within the GEF and we are looking to expand those. Um, but we also want to provide that collaborative environment for academics and clinicians um, to really come together there. Um, and we also want to provide enabling core infrastructure to increase research output and excellence. The research pathway can be tricky sometimes and we want to make that as easy and as simple as possible for researchers, clinical researchers and academic researchers. Next slide. Um, so we're just looking at our current, um, current structure here at the moment. So our themes are stroke and dementia, brain tumours and Parkinson's disease. And then we have those cross cutting, so inflammation, pathology, imaging and rehabilitation. And these themes are continuously developing and we are here to kind of provide that support with grant applications, ethics applications and the research setup process um, within those themes. Next slide, please. Um, so how can we support you? So I think one of the main things that we are looking to do is to provide that collaborative environment. So across the translational pathway, we want to identify and provide access to clinicians um, and to patient samples and data. And I think that's probably what's of most importance um, to the guys that are doing the academic kind of discovery science um, is that we can help identify clinicians um, or we can try and provide access to those patient samples. Um, and I think one of the greatest things that we've provided over the, si the past six months is that ability for the basic science and clinicians to collaborate um, 
really seamlessly and it has strengthened grant applications and really allowed for more rapid translation from bench coming through to bedside. Um, we provide a profile, so it does provide a bit of a home um, and provides you profiles for submitting those grants and getting your research projects up and running. Um, and again, the infrastructure. So we want to support you to identify kind of supporting infrastructure that you may require at any point within your um, project's lifetime. We know that setting up a research project can be tricky um, and we're here to kind of identify or to provide the knowledge and expertise um, in how you can go about doing that. Um, next slide. So just a final slide, um, my contact details are on here. Um, if you have any questions or queries or would like to contact me or feel that we may be able to help with your research project at all. Um, I've also popped our Centre Administrator Jill on there. And if anyone wants to sign up to our newsletter, um, there is also our generic inbox there, which you can provide your details and sign up to the newsletter. Um, we are also on Twitter um, with the GJ Brain Research handle, um, and you are welcome to contact me or the generic inbox to provide any assistance. Um, so that was just a really brief overview of the centre, um, and I hope you found that useful and informative.